Okay, so I've been looking at the uh, Devil May Cry 5 co-op trainer on the Nexus and apparently there's an updated version. So I thought I should make a new video because honestly the last one I did was kind of dog shit. So let's go look at it. So nexusmods.com, okay. And you want to type in Devil May Cry 5 co-op trainer. Okay. Okay, look, this is it. By created by Dante and Razor, and apparently there is a updated version. Yes, there's an updated version. Okay, it is from February, but I had this old one right here from September. All right, that's the one I was using. Okay, so you want to click manual download. Okay, download. I'm going to download all of this, okay? I'm going to show you how to download all of this. RE Framework, I, I already have this, but you know, you download this and just run the, uh, the EXE. Alright, so let's download RE Framework. Okay, so if you're using the Colab Trainer, only if you're using the Colab Trainer, download this one, okay? But if you do not have the Colab Trainer, or you do not know what the fuck that is, you download this one, not Colab Trainer, okay? So I don't have that. I'm not using that. So I download this manual, slow. I'm not paying for this bullshit, okay? Here it is. All right. Now, um, you download this new updated Co-op Trainer right here, okay? February 2nd, 2023. Manual download, slow. Okay, so here they are. So you can install this by moving all of this where the Devil May Cry 5 EXE is at. Okay, so this is my Devil May Cry 5. So you go in here, wherever your Devil May Cry 5 is installed, okay? So Steam Library, Steam Apps Common, Devil May Cry 5. Go in there. This is the EXE, Devil May Cry 5.exe. So you could either, if you wanted to, you could move all of this from the DMC5 trainer into this whole folder right here like this. Look, you could do that. Okay. I'm going to control Z that because I don't want to do it that way. Okay. I'm going to use the fluffy mod manager. Okay. So I'm going to also show you how to download the fluffy mod manager if you want to install the co-op trainer using that. So go ahead and go on your um, Google Chrome or whatever. Type in fluffy quack in the search bar. It should be the first thing you see. See? HTTPS FluffyQuack.com. Okay, so click on that. Okay, now here it is. Fluffy Mod Manager 5000. Download. Here it is. Open the zip file. And all of this, look. Go to your desktop. New folder. Fluffy Mod Manager. Okay. And all you do is dump all of this right th into the folder. Just like that. There you go. That's all you do. Now, um, you're going to have to um, use the EXE, open it, and go into whatever game you want, and you're going to have to define the game path, okay? And once you do that, I'll go ahead and do it right now, okay? So, let's say, we're doing Devil May Cry 5, okay? So, there you go. Define game path, and, yeah, don't go to Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Demo. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5, okay, just select the folder, okay, where the EXE is at, boom, there you go. So, now that you did that, you can go back here, and see now there will be a games folder, alright, so go in there, and it's going to show DMC5, go in there, and now you have a mods folder, so you put every mod that you use that's fluffy mod manager compatible in this folder, and it will show up right here. Okay, right here. Right now, there's no mods in here, but if you download one, it will show up in here. So let's go ahead and download the trainer and put it in here. Okay, so go into your downloads folder and move this entire zip file, RAR file, right here, the DMC5 trainer, into the mods folder. Okay, now close this. Alright, now refresh mod list. There it is, Devil May Cry 5 co-op trainer. Enable. There you go. Now it's done. Now you have the trainer enabled and you're done. You're ready to play.
Okay, so now we're going to put RE framework into the Devil May Cry 5 folder. All right, so we go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Devil May Cry 5. Okay, now go to where you installed the RE framework. Here it is. Now, please make sure that you installed the one that you need, okay? If you are using the Collab Trainer, download the one that is compatible with the Collab Trainer. If you are not using it, download this one I downloaded, okay? Because I do not have it right now. I have it right here, but I'm not using it. And all you do is move all three files from the RE Framework into this folder where your EXE is at. Just like that, okay? And replace... Well, I have to replace files because I already have it downloaded, okay? I was just showing you how to download it. But there you go. It may ask you to replace, like the input, replace whatever it asks you. It's fine, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now let's go in game and see how it works. Press the insert key on your keyboard. That is how you toggle between the RE framework slash co-op trainer menu now okay so it's not a an exe that you launch and do outside of the game so it's in the game now see there it is boom and uh what you want to do is go down to script generated ui okay drop that down now drop down co-op trainer by dante and razor and you'll see the co-op menu it has all the settings as the other one okay so you can enable floating pause menu if you want to um, I recommend doing it because if you are playing co-op it and somebody pauses the game it will disconnect you guys from each other okay and you definitely got to uh, check co-op divergence enable Virgil in co-op only if somebody is playing as Virgil and there you have there's a you can have tougher enemies if you guys want tougher enemies I would en recommend enabling it if you're playing with like a full team okay and expand matchmaking only if you are in different regions from your co-op partners, okay? And there you go. There you have it. You can turn on auto skip if you want. You can skip the cutscenes or everything. I leave it off. There's bloody palace settings. You can start at whatever stage you want. Whatever character, your HP, whatever. Okay, so I'm done with this. Okay, save. Okay, now click insert to take it off. Boom, okay? Now we can play. Go to main menu. I'm going to put it on mission 2. Alright. So you do mission select. Alright, mission 2. On devil hunter mode. I'm just going to do devil hunter mode. Okay, mission 2. Start. When the mission loads up, it will give you a character selection menu. Okay, so you can play as whatever character you want. So um, let's play as... Uh, fuck it, let's play as Dante. Okay. Start. So you can play... The whole game is Dante if you wanted to. Alright, now I'm ready. Let's go ahead and start the mission. Alright, I'm in game now, okay? So, okay, look, see my co-op partner? Look, see, he's in the game too. Alright, now, all, that's all you do. So you get in the same mission together, okay? And you just stand in the beginning spot, okay? I just sit here. Sometimes it might not be quick. Um, I don't know, maybe it has. it might have something to do with your internet. I don't know how it works, but I get in here every time with my co-op partner. Most of the time it works fine, and um, um, all you do is uh, as soon as the mission starts, I wouldn't don't just start running, you know, just run out and shit. I would just sit here for a minute, like at the beginning, and just walk around, you know, and make sure your teammate is in the same mission on the same difficulty. So we're both on Devil Hunter mode right now, mission two, and that's pretty much it. That's it. If you have any questions, uh, let uh, ask them in the comment section. I will try to respond and help as many of you as I can. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry about that. For my old, my video, old video, I had a um, older version of the co-op trainer, so it's probably a little different from the one you guys are using now. So I decided to just go ahead and make a new video, maybe explain things a little bit better. So hopefully, now you guys can get it running, and uh, you know, play some Devil May Cry 5. Okay, well, thank you guys. Peace out. Actually, I'm gonna show let's show a little footage. All right, make sure see if everything's working good. So let's walk around. Let's go out here. I don't know why for some reason my game's got HDR on, but uh, 
I don't want to use that. Oh my god. Dude, this shit on keyboard is weird. This is very weird. Okay, but see, I'm gonna show you the floating pause menu, okay? So look, escape, boom. See? It's still the game's still running in the background while you pause, okay? And your character, when you're pressing buttons, you might see like I press space, you you'll probably be jumping around on a controller. That's usually what happens when I'm using my controller. Um, anyway, but if you didn't have the floating pause menu on, this right here, pausing the game, would disconnect you, okay? So I recommend having that, because it is bullshit. Alright, as you can see, it's running fine. We're still in the game together. Okay, well, <sighs> see you guys. Thank you. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or problems. I'll try to help. Um, so, yeah. Enjoy your Devil May Cry 5 co-op.